Welcome to Face to Facts. I am Nick Face. It's good to be back here again to talk more sports with you. To my right this time, oh, yeah. I changed my seat this week. Sorry <laughs> to confuse you. if you were going to mess it up or not. Tom Smith back here in the middle. And we have Always. Phil. We pushed him way down to the right in the corner. <laughs> He's almost out the this. door right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm usually out the door, but anyway. I'm in the kitty suit. Yeah. We want to talk a lot about, uh, at least for today, we have the Patriots to talk about with how their game went against the Bills. We need to also talk about the Red Sox, how they wrapped up their season. Do we? We want, Well, we really should. Do we really want no, to? No, yeah. I already went on that epic rant last week. If you haven't seen that last episode, we strongly suggest you watch it because a lot of people have told me that I need to take a chill pill. <laughs> well, I still haven't done that yet. So, And then we need to talk about the Bruins because their season will be starting when, Tom? Uh, Thursday, October 3rd. October yeah. 3rd. Yeah. So we're a few days away oh from God. that. Yeah, that's right. Let's kick it off with the Patriots first. And that game on Sunday against the Bills was... Uh, Ugly. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't waste my afternoon. I'll just put it lightly on that. It was a game that they just barely won. They won 16-10 to 10 was the final score. But it was very sloppy from the offense, at least. Oh, it was ugly. Positivity on the other side was your defense. Your defense did spectacular. So, Tom, we want to start first with you to determine what or what did you like the most from the game, in, in a way. He's murdered by a spider. <laughs> Burning a spider on air. I mean, it's, spider. saw uh, my hand going like that. I was mystified by it. He is not a welcome guest. Yeah, it was distracting. You're the only two welcome guests as of now. It was, so just, it was distracting Phil, splattered. so I'm glad, I'm glad we got that out of the way now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Final start. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, much better than the Red Sox ran, I guess. I don't know. I guess, yeah. Um, I mean, I like the defense. I mean, it's, it's bitsy good. Spider went, <laughs> uh, went up the. Uh, yeah, we won't go there. Um, I like the defense. It, it really showed that when the offense uh, can't keep it together, it shows that the defense can, and it will. That will help us out in the long run. Um, and I mean. Brady didn't look great. He no, looked really, not at all. he looked really flustered, really uh, rushed, and uh, that offensive line could not protect him at all. Yeah, from what I saw of it uh, in a bar in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, like during my lunch break uh, of a shoot we were on. Yeah, it was kind of nuts. Uh, it was great. J.C. Jackson was awesome. Yes, he was. He had a great athletic catch. He's the one who had the yeah. He had the athletic catch on the sideline. Yes, he did. Which I was like, is he out? No, he just and he ripped it because that was a throwaway. I don't think that was necessarily to anyone. It looked like that was like him trying to vaguely. What's the throw announcer it away? from CBS? Everybody hates. Oh, everyone's gonna say Fouts. But... Dan Fouts. <laughs> so, oh, yep, yeah, that's definitely out of bounds on that play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> it did look a little bit like you can see it like on the re- clear as day on the replay. Clear like, as oh, day. Yeah. But he makes it in a tight like quarter. It really was nuts. Uh, but I, I but he weirdly, can't tackle. Oh yeah. Well, apparently, yeah, with the the one tackle on Fournette, he missed. But um, yeah, no, it was defense was great, and it's like one of those games where, you know, as much as you hate to say it, like yeah, Brady didn't need to show up, or even if they had someone else, who knows? Patriots from a, a few years back, I think, would have lost that game. Different kind of team. It, yeah, because your defense yeah. was not as spectacular no. as it is now. Just to let you know, four interceptions already on the season for Devin McCourty. That's yeah. unbelievable that's right there. One each game, yeah. One each game he's had. Jamie he's Collins on. has what, three? Jamie Collins. Oh, yeah, that's right. The rebirth of Jamie Collins. <laughs> Which is nuts. What a move that's looking like. Why not? I, every there's so the many Browns players on defense back. that you have so much depth. Yeah. You were even missing Dante Hightower oh, on Sunday. Right. Yeah. You missed him. And the Patriots still have enough depth to get that done. Winovich yeah. had another big play, too. Chase Winovich has been excellent oh, on defense. Oh, he has been great. Little, yep. uh, <laughs> he's a weird little Viking guy. You <laughs> also saw for special teams Matthew Slater getting his very yep. first ever touchdown. JC from Jackson. that block punt block punt from uh, J.C. Jackson, Jackson yeah. which was outstanding. So those are, those are obviously good, some great key pieces to the Patriots well, you're right also the, Bills, the Bills special Josh team Allen. isn't very good because, yeah. you know, they almost blocked like – Four punts. Yeah, oh, no. that's true. So. But I, you could definitely tell from at least the Bills, that was two 3-0 and teams going up against each other. The Bills didn't have much offense, but their defense definitely, I think, rose to the Great. occasion. Well, I mean, so I, I don't know if they're a contender yet, but I don't think there's somebody you can take lightly. Well, that backup looked pretty good. Barkley? Was he a USC guy? 
I think, right? Matt, yeah. ba- oh, who Matt came Barkley. in for Josh yeah. Allen? After that, uh, I was going to call him Charles Barkley for a second. I might have. Saquon Barkley? Saquon Barkley, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many Barkleys you got on this yeah. team? Too many. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, I think he was, wasn't he USC uh, quarterback? That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he looked pretty, He looked a lot better he, than Allen. So did. do you, like, do you <laughs> like Barkley better than you liked uh, Allen? Oh, yeah. I, I'd be scared if Barkley was the starting quarterback. <laughs> so Josh Allen, that was a high pick for them. Bust. I, I mean... You, you look at you look at that play where uh, he got hit in the head. Ooh. You're a scrambling quarterback. You got to know when to you went to go down. That whole situation. Just a lot of a lot of people had some things to say about that hit. Did you think it was clean? Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you get a chance to see the clip? Yeah, the I don't hit? think I was there when I, I watched it when it happened because that was like third third quarter, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Which they actually put together a nice drive at the beginning of the third quarter. Josh Allen. Yes. Who actually, was hitting. Receivers who were, people. We're yes. wide open. Yeah. But, no, I don't, I don't think it was dirty. I think it's just an unfortunate – yeah, you have to throw the The NFL flag. didn't think it was dirty, and I agree. Yeah. I don't think it no. was dirty. Well, who was got, the defender on the Patriots where that hit came from? Jackson. It was Jackson. It was Jason Jackson. <laughs> was I think he was just making yeah. sure that, you know, Allen, Allen got down. I personally thought, because I looked at the replay of that, hit, that you know, big hit that happened, and it looked more to me like it was more to blame on Josh Allen's fault. That he was – I mean, his I, head was kind yeah, of I think going in that direction of – I think Ramshackle. it's an unfortunate, like, they both, like, Jackson was trying to get, you know, he was just trying to hit him, and he was going with his shoulder a bit, but his helmet's there, and his helmet, like, Allen. Nothing helmet like the there. hit that Vontez, uh, Perfect, Perfect yeah. did. That guy is, he's suspended he's psycho, for the season, man. and you know what, there is no, there's no place for that, I'm sorry, in football. I mean, that was a complete yeah. headhunter. And look for him to be on the roster next year. Or in prison. <laughs> well, either, the prison circuit is pretty good, so. The longest <laughs> yard is going to recruit him right away, so. Be, uh, you might want to get your tickets for whatever that yeah. comes to town. No, but that's, yeah, because they, uh, I was surprised that the NFL had the, the cojones to suspend him for the year. Good for uh, them. I mean, past experience yeah. had a lot no, to no, do with no, that, I too. Know, past past very, offenses. Very, but even very. then, but even then, I thought it was. They made the right know. move. Yeah, I think so. And we don't say that that often with the NFL, do we? No. Not at all. <laughs> um, so that was your stance on the defense side. Let's talk about the offense. The offense as the game, you know, started out, looks like, Things might be okay for the Patriots. You had um, a couple a couple breaks that got you set up with some early points early on, but Buffalo really figured out a lot a lot of what was coming at them. The run game. The run game was good. atrocious. Was there, yeah. Brady couldn't get a pass off. I think it's more to blame on the offensive line than it was so so much of Brady. I don't know how I you guys feel. feel I, think uh, I I agree, and I mean. Buffalo has been the toughest opponent in the division for the past few years. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you have the fluke losses to Miami, but no one really gives them much competition other than Buffalo. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're lucky they got away with that one, and now they uh, have to wait till the end of the year to face them, but it will be at home. Mm-hmm. So, What do you think, Phil? Yeah, I agree with Tom about Buffalo giving you the hardest time. I think everyone in the division, as soft as you can call it, everyone gives you a hard time. I think because you play each other twice a year, it's always going to be something. I mean, even the Jets, you didn't really. Well, I mean, you well, kind of ran. The over, Jets are but, looking like the Browns right now. So. <laughs> a little bit, and if they get uh, Don- Donaldson back, right? Uh, Don- Sam Darno. 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 Yeah. I always say. I want to say something Donaldson. with his shoulder. I heard now. Oh, is it? Well, it yeah. was mono at one point. And he had yeah. mono. Spinal. Yeah. Uh, something uh, to do with the spine, but shoulder, that's unfortunate. But I uh, think it's, con- it's something with the spine yeah. and the shoulder are all kind of connected oh, into one. Uh, poor Jets. I don't feel had, bad for them. Well, sure. But the offense, no. I think Brady has a lot. To, uh, he threw, uh, from the replay I saw, he threw a horrible ball in the end zone. Yes. He was throwing uh, at people's legs. You know, that, you, know people. that, you know the key but when the, he always Buffalo keeps saying? Buffalo was really good. I, I, defensively. I, Buffalo surprised me. I yeah. will say that. But yeah, defensively sorry, were... surprised me. Brady's big thing with all, all his stuff that he, that he preaches with his, with, the team, with, his, uh, with his teammates is laser focus. Yeah. Where was that focus this past? I don't think they were focused. Well, I, don't think, I, think, I don't think any I, of them were. I think, Bra- were I think Brady was a little, uh, you know, like I said, flustered. I mean, Big time. He, yeah. the, the offensive line didn't protect him whatsoever. I, I think that that was something that he was, Tom Brady wasn't expecting much of. I don't think he thought that Buffalo was going to come out and kind of take away that offense for them. That's what I yeah. thought. Well, they, they've, always, they've always bit. had a decent run defense. They have that. And, you know, we knew and, the running game coming in was going to be a challenge, but I don't know if we so much thought that the passing game was going to be so. No, but I mean, off. you know, the Patriots have tried to implement the running game more 
this you know this season than they have in. Are you two guys season. concerned with the production that you're not getting from Sonny Michelle? No. Okay. No, no because he, he actually, put he put up some good numbers in the first did. two games. But he also had like he had like sixty something yards yesterday. Not the best, but he did like there were two or three good runs in like the the fourth quarter where he got. You know, at least after a slow wise. start. So, against, what's the yeah. ceiling for him? Let me rephrase no, our question. I mean, it's a good question. Is, is he, he going to rise, or is he going to let the cookie crumble? I right? think it all depends on what the O line does. And I think he'll level off. I think Tom's right. Like so the O line is the big. Thing. Let's talk about the offensive line because so I was think Rex Burkhead. I don't know. Was he? he I was, don't think that he was a good matchup for this yeah. game. Yeah. Match up there. Well, I personally he thought he James White. Catches, yeah. I thought James White was going to be a good matchup for this team, well, but it good. turned out it wasn't yeah, because they figured out either. what James White was looking for. Yeah. That James White was more your third down back that they shut down. Yeah. You had Edelman who was also uh, still he, recovering from the uh, bruised ribs. He busted so up, yeah. I don't think they wanted to give Edelman the ball as much. I think they want him to get as healthy as they can. Mm. Dorsett made a couple of big catches. But Dorsett made a couple of good catches. Gordon I thought Josh uh, Josh Gordon had a not so great game. Yeah. Um, I don't think he could get uh, open at all. Yeah. To tell you the truth. Um, but back on the offensive line, that is my biggest concern right now with the Patriots, and it's because they're so beat up or injured, and a little bit of inexperience comes from it. I think the loss of David Andrews is tremendous to this team right now. Karras, Alex, or oh, not Alex Karras, Ted, uh, Ted Karras. Alex. Alex Karras was um, mm. TV show act, act, yeah. actor, a football player, legend. Oh, yeah, Webster. Yeah, that's, yeah. His, that's his grandfather. Oh, That okay. was his grandfather. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Karras has been the uh, snapper and the center for the Patriots for the first, uh, first three. He needs some work. And I think it's going to take some time to get that done. My other big concern here, and I think this is the biggest of the concerns here, is there's nobody on this team that's going to replace the production and the work that James Devlin has put in. James Devlin as your fullback, that yeah. allowed Sonny Michelle to get you more yards uh, on the field. Yeah, that's a big that's loss. That's a big loss that they don't have right now. He's on IR. The hope is that he gets healthy enough and he can come off the IR. The problem is the Patriots have three people on the IR right now. They have um, Nikhil yeah, Harry, Nikhil Harry yeah. they have David Andrews, and they also now have um, James, Devlin. James Devlin. So you can take two of those three off, but one will be on there for the entire year. I would assume Nikhil Harry is coming back. I think The question, eight, yeah. hopefully, is that Devlin can get healthy enough because reports of David Andrews is he's going to be out for the season. Yeah, and that was That's kind the of early really, reports. Well, that was, yeah, when they first... Uh, rep- when they were the blood clots it. and the lungs, yeah. 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 he needs a like full year to. Year. But you don't like the new recuperate. Fullback? You don't think he'll be able? No, to I do him? not. No, I think Jam- like a James games. Devlin is, was one of those unsung heroes. I do types. like James Devlin. Yeah, he's, he's underrated. He, he's a very yeah. underrated player that doesn't get enough credit where credit is deserved. Well, especially since teams don't really use a fullback anymore. Correct. They don't. They don't. So that's a player that I am hoping for that can get healthy a lot. <laughs> I also would like to talk about Steven Gostowski here. <laughs> I don't know why you think it's so funny. Now, I keep, is it Gus, Guskowski or Gostowski? Gostowski. 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 Oh. All right. But Lowski. Yes. <laughs> we need to talk about his misses here. Okay, yeah. he's on, is it six misses on the season right now? Is it five? Four point after. Four, four of the extra points yeah. and one field goal opportunity has it been missed so far. It might be two goals. So it's might actually, right. I, th- I think it might be two. Goal, two I think goals. it's six. Yeah, I think you're I right. do think it's six. So, yeah. Are you guys concerned? Yep. Because it's been it's been every game. It has been. Yes and no. So He's been like this last three or four years. I don't think it's been so. this drastic. That's no, the, this is possibly bad, not. But it's, yeah. it's, you know, I like to see the numbers. The last, it, the last three, four years, he's missed, you know, every couple games. This, I mean, he started off every game this year. Yeah, no, the first, missing at least one. Let's be a positive bunch because we like to be around well, here. No, I mean, as I, much as I'm we more can. being realistic. The good it, thing is that he did turn it around as the game went on. He only missed the one, okay, on that extra point. No, did he miss two? No, he only no, missed, he missed one. one. All right, I was thinking of the after. game from previous, but he missed he that extra point. Missed two. That could have been a yeah. huge miss that could have because been let's say Buffalo ends up scoring a touchdown there. Yeah, it's 17-16. If Jackson didn't get yeah. that interception, Buffalo well, I mean, could have scored. Seven, it would be 17-15 in that case. 
No, 17. No, it was oh, still no, 16. 16. Yeah, it was still 16. What I'm thinking of, because 10 was what Buffalo had. Yeah, Buffalo yeah. had 10. It was 16-10. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So that's where I'd be concerned with trying to figure out what are they, they going to do. The good thing, with you know, with Gostowski is that he has shown that he can turn it around. If the game is on the line, though, guys, right now, are you giving him that ball? <laughs> no. You saw, you, saw, you saw them in that, was it the second quarter where it was fourth, fourth and, and eight? eight? Yeah. And they went for it. Yeah. Says a lot, doesn't it? Sure. It also says a lot that back, if we go to the Super Bowl, he made that big kick to kind of cap that Dice game. It, yeah. To 13-3, to because it was 10-3 to for a while. Makes you think, wow, he did actually come up clutch, and he did help to get that victory he, he right is, there. He is clutch. He can't be clutch. But he's shaky. missed some, too. Other than that, oh, yeah. other than that it's been, you He's know. not like Venetary. And was that correct? I wouldn't put him in that category. I don't know. Okay. It's Maybe tough. five years ago, yeah, but now. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. Gostowski, right. I think, right now is 36, 36 years old. Adam Venateri is 46 right now. Yeah. So maybe we're having a conversation here about nothing. Maybe he does figure it out. Maybe he does last as long is as Adam Venetieri, has. Is he going to? Is he out? Is he? No, he's still retire? in. He's still in with Indy. Wasn't he thinking about leaving? He was. Yeah. yeah he's but, on um, the sideline. Uh, Jim Mersey gave yeah. him a uh, little. Little pep talk. Oh, and it's been fine ever since. So. All right. Hmm. So. No oh, pep talk, pep pills, whatever. You know, cocaine feels... from him. Hey, whatever. Or whatever was whatever in his car. So. I was gonna but anyways, it, that's but... another story for the um, after so, show. But, uh, so. Uh, but the kicking team uh, that you don't uh, part of the kicking team you don't have to worry about Bailey, the punter. He's fantastic. Crazy, and I thought like, getting rid of Allen was Can a he mistake. kick? That's what, actually, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Would he, I don't hey, can know. he kick field goals and extra points and all that stuff? It might be worth be. it. Might be worth Could trying. Be, yeah. Because he, yes, the Patriots had uh, what was it, Ryan Allen? Yeah, who was from, great. Who was absolutely was fantastic. Yeah. Could have been your MVP of the Super Bowl. Yeah, all his yeah. punts he did. This guy is just a, another level, man. It is and another cheaper. level. Yeah, cheaper. The Belichick yeah. play. Yeah. Cheaper <laughs> by the dozen. Yeah, yeah. Cheaper by the dozen. Yeah. Looking ahead, the Patriots will play another, yes, another, 1 o'clock game, folks. Don't get me started with the 1 o'clocks. And that'll be against the uh, Washington Redskins. My parents will be at that game, actually. Oh, yeah? Is what are we? Uh, Gillette? Uh, no, it's in down Washington. Oh. Mm-hmm. Going over. What are our thoughts on this? I mean, looking at it on paper, it should be a relatively easy game. <laughs> easy Easier than win. Buffalo? Absolutely. Yeah, because Washington's defense isn't nearly as formidable. And they no. don't really know. Their offense They don't even know who their quarterback either. is coming into this week. Yeah. Is it, it Keenum? It's, it's no? either Kessler or... Um, they scratched, They took Keenum out of the game Ke- Sunday. Keenum was out of the game. Oh, or right. it's uh, McCoy. Oh, that's right. They Colt have McCoy. Like, it's like Christmas lights just blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> one by one. <laughs> one by Come one. On, they just... Well, I think it's going to be. Um, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a game where the Patriots kind of get back in sync on a lot of different things sure. there. Well, I mean, the Redskins did lose to the Giants twenty-four to three, and that says a lot. Oh, it does say a lot. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it does say a lot. That is. Oh. So, it could be another forty spot. I was looking ahead at the schedule. I like to plan ahead a little bit. This month in October, you don't really play anybody that's formidable. You no, don't. You got the you Reds- got the Jets on a Monday night game. You got the yeah. Giants, Giants on a Thursday, Thursday night the game. The Giants game. could be a lot better, like now. Without well, we'll we'll see. I guess. I mean, it's been um, they're lucky much they... better without Eli right now. But well, that's what yeah. May, who knows how long that's going to run for? Sure. Your next big game, folks, that you want to <laughs> circle. Know, you want to circle on your calendar. I want to say it's block. November fourth, uh, third, something like that. The Patriots play the Ravens. Oh. And okay. then we also have that month Dallas. So third. We Dallas? also have um, Dallas is the, the Eagles that month. Eagles, that's right. And you play the NFC East. Yeah. There's somebody else in there too. Houston is Houston in there? At Houston's all? Yes. in December. That'll be a good. Oh one. yeah, yeah, Houston's the week Houston's after. Houston's in Cowboys. December. So that's a big so game. After Thanksgiving. I think Baltimore will be oh, good too. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot. The Browns are coming up soon too. But that'll be fun. At least they'll be able to push around Baker Mayfield. Yes. And uh, Chubb's is oh, kind of a uh, Chubb. Mayfield's not, Mayfield's not going to know what to do with that defensive he's line. He's just either. not. We'll see. <laughs> but so Chubb those those back. are your Collins circled games that you want to take a look at. But right now it's um, cupcake time. Uh-oh. Cupcakes. Enjoy it. Enjoy yeah. it. Enjoy it while you can. Stay yeah. healthy. Get yourself ready to go when the games will matter. I want to next go to the Red Sox. I want to close the chapter on the 2019 season. 
I still want to. I do. I do want to apologize for that rant that I had that last show. It was a little over the top. A lot of cut, like I said at the beginning of the show. You were giggling when you were cutting it. I was. Yeah. It was pretty. I, I went back and I laughed and I said, "You are out of your mind, Nick." Well, we well, were giggling the entire time he was yeah. going through it. I, thought, <laughs> yeah. I needed to be hosed down after that. But any, anyways, it, it still leads to how the year had been so frustrating. This is a team that should have been in the playoffs. I mean, bare it was, minimum. It was over when it started. It, it really was. I mean, to lose. Yeah, unfortunately. You, you, I think we went two and nine to start the season. Sounds right. Yep. Just disgusting. Did they go overseas to, to start it? No, they didn't. No, they did not. They did later. No, on, but they but... started in the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. They started but with it Seattle. Matter. It didn't really matter. Then and then either. it just went downhill from there. Yeah. Um, there was an end of the season wrap up press conference uh-huh, that was yeah. held yeah, on Monday, and the owners Sam Kennedy and Werner and Henry talked about what's upcoming for next season. And this is going back to our point that we heard some rumblings about the luxury number going down next year the amount of the budget that they have friday they had the thing it was uh it was monday it was monday they they are looking to get to 208 million on their um threshold and they do not want to go over that if if that happens that means jd and mookie are not here both of them both of them oh i thought either one so i want to first ask you guys who you still feel is a priority right now and knowing what the budget is from stuff what do you think is going to happen? I don't even know anymore. After this season, I, I think it's just, you know, I mean, I guess the guy you'd want to build around is Martinez because, you know, he's got the experience and everything. And he's always, he had the good rapport with the, all the guys with the hitting and stuff. So, I mean, I think if you're going to keep somebody, it would be him. Okay. Um, but, I, you know, I also think that Mookie could kind of take the leadership role in a way. But, you know, not That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, and he doesn't really have as much experience as Martinez does. I'm hearing that the contract that Mookie would sign if the Red Sox went to him today and gave him would be 10 years, $450 million. My Lord. Ooh. Is he worth that, guys? That is he worth it? Lot of Wasn't that cheaper than he want, uh, originally sought after? No, or, not particularly. Or a little more? No, no it's, it was right in that 450 dollars 500 yeah. mil. Crazy, man. It's trout money. It's Mike Trout money, trout. basically. I thought it was just more of a fish thing. Which, but, you know. <laughs> well, it could be. I mean, he, that he, has, he has stayed healthier than Trout, so. Yeah, actually, that's a very good point. I, I would know. still have Mike Trout on my baseball team any day of oh, the week, though. absolutely. Well, Mookie versus, hey, that's apples to oranges, yeah. in my opinion. Well, is Trout not as good of a defensive player? No, either? Trout's, Trout's, Trout's a gold pretty, lover and everything. Yeah. He's, a five, he's still a five-tool player. Yeah. His biggest problem is he's never won. Yeah, the Angels well, have never been in the playoffs. They've only been in the playoffs once since he premiered in the league in 2010, oh, wow. 2009. So I didn't know he was that. Yeah, uh, much of a veteran. Yeah, he's about 29 Man, years that's old. Not horrible. I don't. But Mookie. Mookie's is, what, 28. 20, 28. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say 27. 20, yeah. yeah. He's Mike Trout. I'm Mookie. <laughs> Whatever. Don't works. give people any inklings on stuff now, please. Yeah. Well. Be nice. Um, what? You're not 35. <laughs> I'm 36, uh, turning 37. So I'm, who knows? Well, according to the kids, I'm 75. So. Oh my God! Yeah, anyone? Yeah, over I'm 20, 50 according yeah. to the kids. So yeah. Uh, no, Mookie, I would. You I go, mean, Mookie. Yeah, because okay. it's one of those. I mean, I like JD Martinez. Line, Back the Brinks and, truck up, then. Yeah, and I agree with Tom. I mean, he like last year. He's one of the guys who uh, him. I mean, like, look at how Xander improved because of. Yeah. He was a makeshift hitting coach. He was like a, another branch of the hitting team. Uh, You're saying Mookie coaching. or JD? JD. You're saying JD. Uh, okay. But Mookie is one of those guys who, you know, it's not gonna, just going to be a DH. He's going to be, be everywhere. He's everywhere. He has an and impact he's, everywhere. He's the face of your franchise. I love them both. And Martinez would probably just be a one-year, I imagine, like the, maybe they go year to year or I don't know. Martinez would look for, well, he has, he has an option. Yeah. He can opt out of a three-year 60, I think it's $68 million that's left on that. Uh-huh. And he's 32, going to be 32 years old. Yeah. Pretty much a DH type. It's a risk for him. He yeah. has to figure out if opting out of those years to get more guaranteed dollars or years attached to a contract is going to be worth and doing. it doesn't seem like, you know, teams are really, I yeah, mean, in need people. are really using, like, a, a guy that's actually a DH, you know? They yeah. kind of throw You pretty much can eliminate the person. National League. 
because yeah. the National League to sign a 32-year-old DH for, who can't really base, move in the whatever. outfield. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it. He's broken down. Well, first base, no. Never put a glove on. Doesn't want to. Oh, wow. Yeah, that kind of eliminates quite a bit. Your market's very limited. <laughs> yeah. I think the only market that he's going to have right now, I think it's going to be a competition between the Chicago White Sox or a team that may, might not be like a winning team, kind of like a yeah. t- kind of like a San Diego Padre team hmm. that's just kind of like, oh yeah, we got the money, we'll we just put somebody here to yeah. get tickets out of it. Yeah. Um, I it's think like it's between Andy the White Machado. Sox and the Red Sox right now. <laughs> yeah, Yankees got DHs, the Angels got their DH with Pujols say, like, and I mean, Otani. I mean, that you can really the A's don't spend money nowadays. You can really throw anybody in the DH spot. Yeah. Really, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, you can rotate that. So I think JD would be pretty dumb to opt out. But if he does, maybe the Red Sox do tack on an extra year to keep him there. I personally think Mookie has played his last game with the Red Sox. That's I'm still sticking to my word. I'm still sticking with the Atlanta Braves he's going to end up with for prospects. That's my thought. I will tell you this, though, and this is going to be depressing and sad to hear it. The Red Sox are going to be in a rebuilding, rebuilding time for a little bit, folks. So I'm not expecting playoffs for maybe a couple of years. Until things get back, because you got a beat up pitching staff that you have no idea what's going to come about. You have a bullpen that the Red Sox just don't want to spend money on, and you got so many, so many handicaps with so many contracts being locked up with players who are inconsistent or don't get the job done. Thank you, Dave Dombrowski. You have a bloated payroll, big time. That's kind of it's just, once again back to the fish stuff because I can't get over it and now. I'm hungry, yeah. uh, but it's just you have this gigantic carp that's just stinking up the joint. Yeah. And it's full of money. And just, you got to cut that sucker up. And I understand where they're coming from. I, I don't like ownership's decision to do that and also up the uh, the pricing of tickets, which seems absurd. Yeah, they are yeah. upping the price of tickets when your team is going to get worse. Yeah. yeah I don't, I'm don't. i glad I'm not a season ticket holder. Yeah, get on, on the ground floor right. of regretting every purchase. Correct. Yeah. The last thing yeah. I want to mention before we wrap up our show today is Tom's favorite thing in the world is going to be starting in this next couple of days, and that is the Boston Bruins. What's the outlook on the Bruins well, I was here say right Celtics, now? But... The Celtics right. don't start for another couple of weeks. On the That's next true, show, yeah. we will talk about those. Right. Them. The Celtics will begin on October 23rd, just to keep everybody up to date on that. They'll be facing the 76ers. But Tom, give us the recap. Uh, well, well, what to look ahead for? Bruins start on October 3rd against the uh, Dallas Stars, uh, and they go on a tough, tough West Coast road trip to start the season off. They okay. play. Um, Vegas, uh, They Colorado. start the season off with Dallas, correct? Yep. Then it goes, I think, Arizona. Correct. Who, who can be pretty tough. Or not Arizona. <clears throat> Phoenix. Phoenix Coyotes, well, whatever Phoenix. you call them. Um, then I think it no, goes. it's Arizona now. It is Arizona. Yeah. Then don't it goes to Vegas. <laughs> and then it goes to Chicago, um, Colorado. Colorado. And then they come home finally against the New Jersey Devils. Who have a really good young team. So... How do the Bruins go from losing Game 7 of your Stanley Cup to getting back to potentially winning the Stanley Cup? Can they do it? Can they do it? Uh, it, It'll be tough, but I think they could. Um, I mean, you you still have Toronto and Tampa Bay that can really give you a run for your money. Um, You know, Toronto... Might be a little shaky. Um, they did improve their defense a little bit. Okay. Um, Don't they have something going on with Eric Carlson? Who's that? Not Eric Um uh, Which team? I mean, not who's. Toronto. They have, Maybe he went somebody else. Some, I thought somebody had some kind of a scandal going on. Oh, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, yeah. um, I, I mean, I knew there was something going on with him. I have no idea what happened. I didn't. Uh, look into it yet, but um, yeah, I I don't. Toronto should be tougher. Basically, is that what you're saying? Is, yeah, be t- they, tough they, competition. They, and and what you know kind of stinks for the Toronto Boston rivalry is they uh, got rid of Nazem Kadri, yes. your favorite guy, who's now on Colorado. Is he so. in jail yet? Oh, Not, unfortunately, just, just no. was wondering. He's I, just in the sky high. We, city I had a couple people ask about his whereabouts recently. Oh, give him time. My Twitter friends have been asking. We will talk about it more on the next episode of Face the Facts. For Nick Face and Tom Smith and Phil Healy, we'll see you next time. 